A 76-page bombshell report from the Speaker of the House is made public, alleging a spectacular spending scandal. At the centre of it all, two senior officials at the BC Legislature. Here's a look back at how it all unfolded. A motion to suspend Clerk Craig James and Sergeant-at-Arms Gary Lenz passes unanimously in the House. Effective immediately. When the motion was introduced in the House a few minutes ago, did, did you get any kind of formal heads up before? Oh, nothing at all. And do you have any idea what this is pertaining to? No, I don't. And neither does the Sergeant-at-Arms. They're escorted out of the building. Alan Mullen, a special advisor to the Speaker, addresses media and says RCMP are conducting an investigation. As far as I know, it is absolutely unprecedented, and if I can be frank, I mean, it's, it's disturbing. The next day, Mullen speaks at a news conference and reveals he was brought on last year after concerns were raised by Speaker Daryl Plekis. I was brought in for, for a number of different reasons in January. Uh, there, there, was, there was just regular concerns about a lot of different things. Mullen says he relayed his findings to the RCMP in August. Good morning. The opposition demands an end to the secrecy. All we can say at this point is that the public are entitled to know the truth about events of this week, and we're doing our level best to get those facts on the table. Why I'm not? sure you will find it interesting what I have to say this afternoon. Will you be making the statement yourself? I will be making the statement. But the speaker later decides not to address the media. Instead, Mullen offers this statement. Okay, folks, I'm not taking any questions. I'm just going to read a statement. I am confirming that the Speaker has requested a second Special Advisor to advise on all things legal. The second Special Advisor is the Honourable Justice Wally Opal. Second Special Advisor Wally Opal then defends Plekis's handling of the situation. If there's an investigation going on, the particulars of that investigation should not be revealed to the public uh, because it may compromise the selection of a fair jury in due course and all of those prejudice the right to a fair trial. The two suspended officials hold a news conference. I know I've done nothing wrong. It's not an issue of, of anything that I've done that's going to be coming out. Let the process continue. Let the investigation take place. I am left in the position of not being able to respond because no one has told me what the allegations are. An awkward moment ensues in the chambers when the opposition proposes an emergency debate over the handling of the suspensions. Last week on... Uh, uh, Member, if I may ask, if this matter pertains to my office, uh, I ought to recuse myself? Followed by strong words from Liberal leader Andrew Wilkinson. There's a grave concern that the Speaker's out of control. Speakers have been around for 640 years, and there's no precedent anywhere in the British Commonwealth for the conduct of this Speaker in the last week. The public deserves full disclosure. Yes. Boy, are they going to get it. Plekis calls for a meeting to discuss a full forensic audit of the offices of the Speaker and the two suspended officials. And if the outcome of those audits did not outrage the public, did not outrage taxpayers, did not make them throw up, I will resign as Speaker. This is a report. A bombshell report by Plekis is made public. The Speaker accuses Craig James and Gary Lenz of flagrant overspending, questionable expenses and inappropriate payouts in the range of a million dollars. James and Lenz have not been charged with any crime and continue to deny the allegations.